Hey, my name is Bailey Weiser. I am the owner of Hello Jude Photography, a North Georgia newborn and family photography studio, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna dive into client wardrobe. One of my favorite things that's part of my client experience is offering a beautiful curated wardrobe for the entire family. So in this video, I'm gonna share why I started having a client wardrobe, some of the benefits to it, where I source my wardrobe pieces from, and how I go through the process of choosing outfits for my families. So let's dive in. So I didn't just start a client wardrobe overnight. Um, it took a lot of time and it was a process. First, clothes are expensive and they, um, they can rack up quickly, especially when you're purchasing for multiple sizes and styles. And so the first thing that I did before I even purchased my first client wardrobe piece is that I used a resource called Style and Select. This was a great resource for me as a photographer to help my clients take the stress out of choosing wardrobe pieces. However, they did still have to purchase the items for their own um, use. So basically what Style and Select is, is um, your client logs in to a portal that you create and they're able to put in their family sizes and styles and colors and all of those things. And it beautifully curates um, photography worthy um, outfits from a variety of price points and um, places. So from Old Navy and Gap, all the way to more boutique lines, free people, anthropology, and everything in between. And so no matter your client's budget or style, um, there's something there for them to choose. The negative side is they still had to purchase those items and um, you know they would be delivered to them and all of that stuff. So it was a great resource. However, I felt like I could do a step better. And when I opened the studio, I decided no better way to help my clients in this department than to offer an actual closet for them to try on a variety of different pieces in different styles and sizes and colors and textures and all of those things. And to take that whole part of the equation out of their stress. Um, it's a beautiful thing and I absolutely love offering it. Time and time again, it's the number one thing that my clients come back and tell me was the biggest impact in their session, which is, I mean, as a mom, I understand. Not only is choosing outfits really stressful, but it's expensive and time consuming. And when you are a brand new mom who is in between sizes and you're not quite sure when you're pregnant what your body's gonna look like those first few weeks, um, all of those things make a big difference. Moms no longer have to scroll on um, their phone at night when they're nursing trying to, to purchase um, clothing for their newborn session in hopes that it'll arrive in time and fit. Um, they don't have to take their baby out to the mall or to Target or wherever they shop um, those very first few days so that they can try on new clothes. It takes the stress out of it. All they have to do is show up and there's beautiful pieces here for them. So let's talk a little bit about what I look for when I'm purchasing pieces and how I got started um, choosing new items to add to the wardrobe as a beginner. Anytime that I'm adding new pieces to the wardrobe, there's a few things that I think about. Number one is color. Number two is pattern. Number three is texture. Number four is neckline. Number five is waistline. And number six is length. So with these things combined, um, it's really helpful for me to be able to choose um, pieces that I know will fit well in my wardrobe that my clients are gonna choose. I have a variety of kind of different styles and textures um, because moms are not all the same in their style and their aesthetic. And so I like to have some things a little more casual, some things are a little bit more fancy, and a lot of things in between because that's really where most of my moms um, lie. So. Let me show you, for example, a few of the wardrobe pieces that I love and why I love them. And this might give you a good idea of some things to look for when you're trying to source new pieces. So one of my most popular dresses in the wardrobe, and if you're a photographer, you've probably seen this dress everywhere, um, but it's this dress right here. Um, this dress I actually found on Poshmark, but I think the original source for it is Red Dress Boutique or Morning Lavender. They both have this dress. Um, it's the Ayaka. I am probably pronouncing that incorrectly, 
but um, it is beautiful. It is a, um, a plunging neckline, which for most of my postpartum moms, I do have to add a pin or two um, if their chest has grown quite a bit, uh, but that does not show in photos. It's this beautiful, soft, um, almost chiffon material with a really cool long sleeve. So a couple things of why I love this dress. One, the pattern is not distracting. Um, it's subtle, subtle enough so that it photographs beautifully without drawing all of your attention away from the subjects. Um, the sleeves are really nice and flowy, which isn't a cool texture um, to add in the images. The neckline um, is low, but it's still, you know, it's not super, super low where I can't pin it. Some of these that are really low, you have to wear tank tops underneath or uh, particular bras where this one, I can just add a pin or two if it's a little too low for the mom's preference and it's not that big of a deal. Number one thing is the waistline. I'm gonna say this over and over again, but the waistline is probably the most important thing because postpartum moms don't want to have really tight um, material against their stomach. And so most of my waistlines hit right here um, um, below the chest and then they flow out from there. Um, that's one thing that I look at for not only postpartum moms, but maternity sessions and um, all of those things. So this is very bump friendly as well as postpartum friendly and everything after that. That is a beautiful dress. <clears throat> Another one that I love, which comes in a variety of different um, patterns, is this one from Baltic Born. It has really flowy um, sleeves. Again, that neckline is low, but it can be pinned. Um, it has this crisscross pattern, which is great for nursing as well. Um, waistline right below the chest. It has um, kind of a flowy material. This one has a little slit. I also have it in a couple other different colors. I have this one, it's slightly different, same dress. Um, I feel like I have a few more that I just can't pinpoint. I do have it in some solids as well. So beautiful dress, that one's from Baltic Born. Baltic Born in general, is my number one place to source most of my dresses from because they have every size under the sun. Their dresses are beautiful, they're very well made, and they're reasonably priced. On average, their dresses are anywhere between 50 and $90, but if you look on Poshmark, you can find them pretty much, usually brand new, some with tags, um, for a fraction of the price. So Baltic Born, I love. Another Baltic Born dress that I love in another pattern is this one. I love how the sleeves are sheer, um, but it has these tiers to it. So a lot of my dresses also have tiers. Um, that's another really fun texture thing to think about. You can see this one, the texture right there and right there is really beautiful. This neckline is not as plunging, which is one thing that I do like. Another place that I source dresses for is a, um, a company called Show Me Your Moo Moo. And this is actually a bridesmaid dress company. And so a lot of um, people that were bridesmaids that wore their dress once will sell them online. It's great for you because they're trying to get rid of it. You're trying to get it for a lower cost. These dresses on average are, you know, usually around $100 or more depending on the size and style. Um, but they're a nice, flowy dress. So I have this in several different colors and styles, um, and they have all sorts of sizes. So I even go up to 3X in, in these dresses. Um, they photograph beautifully. They're very flattering on moms. Again, look for the waistline. Um, they do have some that have kind of a wrap to it. Beautiful dresses, love those. Um, another place that I find a lot of dresses, if I can find one here is a company called Boehm. I believe that's how you say it. It could be Boheme, I don't know, but it's Boehm. And um, smock dresses. So moms that are a little more self-conscious about their chest love smock dresses because it kind of tightens their things in. Or if they don't have a whole lot, um, it adds this ruffle texture so you can't really tell that they don't have a whole lot um, in their chest. So this is a dress that I love. This is probably one of my clients' favorite dresses. I have it in multiple sizes and multiple colors because it just 
it looks great on everybody. Um, this one would be considered a mid length because it hits kind of ankle length. Um, but again, it's got the tiers like I talked about, sleeves, um, it's got the, the cup on the sleeve at the bottom. Just a beautiful, really well-made dress. Boom for this one. I do love Morning Lavender. There's several dresses I have from there that photograph beautifully. This would be an example of one. Wrap dresses are really great um, because again, mom can tighten them or loosen them. They can kind of fit between sizes. So if a mom's not sure if she's a medium or large, a wrap dress is usually a great fit for them because they can tighten it to their current size. So this is one from Morning Lavender that I love. I also have um, this one is from Morning Lavender. Again, with the smocked on the chest. Again, waistline goes right below. This one has a fun puff sleeve which these are really popular right now. I think they photograph beautifully and moms can decide whether they wanna wear them on their shoulders or off their shoulders. So it's really fun. Another example of one of those would be dresses from Nothing Fits But. They're a little bit more expensive, I will admit. Um, I don't typically purchase them brand new for that reason. But if you browse really well, Poshmark can be your best friend for those. Um, if I can find where my one is that I have right here. So these again, they're like a, a muslin texture or fabric. Really, really pretty on. Um, these sleeves are really fun. You can kind of see. And then it has this fun detail at the bottom. So these are beautiful dresses. Um, they're a little bit lighter weight. And so summer sessions, these are really great because they're very breathable. Um, and they have a whole variety of patterns and textures and all that. So I do love them. They're just a little bit more on the higher price point. Um, so that kind of gives you a good idea. Like I said, my number one place that I source dresses, I do look on Poshmark a lot, but I love Baltic born dresses. Um, I think they just fit beautifully. They have so many different styles and solids and, and patterns and everything in between. Um, another dress style that I love are these off the shoulder tear dresses. And so these are super flattering on every body type. This one in particular, you can't really see, has like a Swiss dot texture to it. So that adds a fun little flair um, to the session. But these tear dresses are really, really flattering. Um, I have these all the way extra small through 3X because they do look great on everybody and every body type. Um, so again, things to think about texture, color, um, length, neckline, waistline, and pattern. Um, so when you're thinking of all of those things, it's really important to keep your clients in mind. One reason why I have a lot of neutrals in more pinks and blues is because I serve newborn clients. And typically my clients are gonna put their images in a few places. One is gonna be their living area. So neutral is really great for that because no matter what color the aesthetic is in their home, neutral images, neutral color images, neutral um, patterns, and all of those things are going to look great in any area. Um, another place that they might put their images is in a nursery. And so normally they decorate those in pink or blue. And some of my parents really love to um, add just a little bit of color to their galleries um, that kind of shows whether it's a boy or a girl. Um, but majority of my dresses are in more neutral tones for that reason. Um, neutral tones look great on everyone. I don't have to worry about um, skin tones being an issue when I'm photographing in white or I'm photographing in a beige color. Um, I just think it's a great, clean, classic, timeless way to photograph families um, without having really distracting patterns or textures or things like that. So the first thing that I do anytime I get a brand new dress is bring it into the shooting room of the studio and I put it on my lovely mannequin Lucille and I photograph the dress on the mannequin. There's a few reasons why I do this. One, I've created a catalog of all of my images in the same lighting in the same location 
for my clients to browse and it looks really clean and easy to navigate and um, secondly my clients can picture what the dress is going to look like on them in this environment because most of my clients choose to photograph their sessions in the studio now if it's an outdoor session or things like that i might have a few um, from past galleries where my clients have used those particular dresses outdoors and i can give them a better idea if they would like but this is a great way for me to organize all of the images of my client wardrobe to showcase them to my clients when they're trying to decide what to wear um, that way when they come into the studio for their session they already know what their favorite dresses are um, most of my clients because they are scheduling their session so far in advance and they don't know what size they're going to be whether it's when they're you know 32 weeks pregnant when they're doing a maternity session or when they are postpartum um, what i will do is send them the link to the gallery of dresses they can browse them kind of get some ideas of of things that they might like patterns colors all of those things and kind of create a working um, board of sorts for their session noting that will be flexible depending on what size they'll be um, most of my clients choose not to have a wardrobe consultation in advance because they just know that their body's going to change before their session and so as long as i have sent them um, the gallery of images of the dresses they can have a pretty good idea of the style of dresses that they might have as an option um, colors textures all of those things and so when they get into the studio we already have their favorite dresses pulled and steamed and ready for them to try on and see what they like best um, a lot of times moms depending on their size will have to add some pins around the chest maybe pull it a little closer in the back but making adjustments like that don't show in images and so having that freedom and flexibility when it comes to choosing wardrobe pieces is really incredible um, especially when you have bodies that fluctuate in so many different sizes um, just in the span of weeks essentially from having a baby in their belly to all of a sudden having the baby in their arms and not having um, a, their pregnant belly anymore so i love having the flexibility to do that my clients love the process of being able to see the images in advance then be able to kind of get an idea of what they might wear and kind of envision what their session is going to look like Starting a client wardrobe does not have to be stressful. It is really exciting to be able to serve your clients in this particular way and to take away some of the stress that they feel when it comes to planning their session. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, whether you are beginning to start offering a client wardrobe or you're just curious, maybe you already offer a client wardrobe and this was a great resource for you to find some new ideas of where to source items from. Stay tuned, new videos are being added to this YouTube channel every week. See you next time.